How are everybody doing? Good. Good. How are you holding up with the heat? Welcome to <laughs> uh, so far, it hasn't been too bad, knock on wood. I mean, uh, we ain't got to the summer yet, so I can't really say how a camp practice will be. But right now, I've been holding up pretty good. Check, this is voluntary. You don't have to be here, right? You're a veteran player. But what are you getting out of this? I know as offensive linemen, you guys aren't hitting anybody. They're not doing that sort of stuff. But what, what, how is this helpful to you? Uh, it's helpful to me because, I mean, it's a new team. Um, just new terminology and kind of, you know, getting with the guys and kind of meshing and uh, being beside Tristan and getting a little continuity going right there and um, just kind of just working together. Did you ever thought you'd look to your left and see number 12 under center again? <laughs> it's definitely a, a great thing uh, moving forward, so uh, I'm definitely glad to be back with him. Check in from a chemistry standpoint. How well have you gotten to know some of these guys in terms of Donnie and then Ryan? Uh, pretty well. Um, so I knew I knew um, Ryan previously uh, just from being at uh, O-Line Masterminds. But, um, you know, I've gotten to know Donovan, uh, Tristan, Stanny, you know, Nick, you know, all the guys. So it's been a, been, it's a great group. What's your brotherhood, isn't it? It is. It is. What's been your impression just of the group of guys that are out here and putting in the work that, you know, that obviously is a new team for you? What's your, have you got kind of like maybe a first impression of these guys? Oh, yeah. I mean, great group of guys, man. Uh, everybody's here working. Um, like you said, it's voluntary. And, you know, when you see everybody working and, you know, trying to put their best foot forward, you know, you know that we're all working towards something greater. So it's a, it's a positive. Obviously, you don't have uh, all the veterans here, but uh, what biggest difference maybe from, from New England to here? You said biggest difference? Biggest difference, yeah. Um, I mean, it's uh, hotter, <laughs> a lot hotter. But, uh, I mean, you know, football's football at the end of the day. So, um, one team to another, both, you know, good organizations, and, I mean, I'm happy to be here. Your impressions of Vita Vea going up against him? It's Big, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy. Big <laughs> guy. But, yeah, he's a great player, man. I'm um, definitely glad to be on, on the same team instead of, you know, lining up across from him in the game. So. How about Logan Hall? What have you seen from him? Um, he, he's he's um, very, you know, he's active, you know, um, young guy and eager to learn. So um, I'm, you know, glad we got him for sure. Along those same lines, a guy trying to get back in the league, Deidre Sanat, you've probably lined up, you know, against him a little bit during these OTAs. What's your impression of him? Um, good player. Uh, I um, actually have gotten to know him uh, pretty well because he's, uh, you know, he lives in Atlanta and, you know, I got a few friends in Atlanta from my college days. So I've uh, got to know him pretty well. You guys aren't really showcasing this offensive lineman, which you can do to the fullest, you know, pads on. Um, is it just kind of a countdown in your head to get to pads in camp? I mean, I know you've got a lot to learn with the playbook and all that, but I'm just saying, generally speaking, for offensive linemen, it is, are you just trying to hit the fast forward button to a degree to get the pads? <laughs> uh, I mean, yes and no. I mean, uh, for me personally, um, I'm a physical guy, so, you know, I, I love being, you know, in pads and when we can actually hit for real. But, um, you know, I just take it one day at a time. You, We're not in pads now, so you can kind of hone in on different techniques and fine-tune other skills before you get in pads. So um, this, I take this time as kind of a adjustment period and getting back into things. You mentioned the synergy you're getting with Tristan Wirfs. He's a guy that, you know, hit it pretty early. He's been a pretty good player early on in his career. What have you noticed about Tristan and working with him? Um, he's, he's a true student of the game. Um, and he works hard. Um, you know, he's a natural He's a natural leader, honestly. And um, he picks my brain. I pick his. You know, he asks me questions about, you know, hey, what you see here. I ask him the same thing. And it's just uh, – us just getting on the same page and, you know, us working together. And I know he's going to be an easy guy to work with, especially, you know, knowing how he wants to be, you know, as great as he can be and me as well. So looking forward to the um, – You worked with the young quarterback last year, obviously, Mac Jones and <coughs> Kyle Trask out here at OTAs. What, what has maybe stood out to you about him? Uh, he's, he's a good, he's a good uh, quarterback. He is. I, um, I, as soon as I got here, I noticed, you know, his ability and um, – I mean, I, I knew who he was from last year, but uh, I like him. I like him a lot. Remember anything that stands out to you about that game against the Bucks last year in New England? Uh, I think the last play of the game where uh, 
you know, we missed a field goal to um, lose the game or whatever. But, um, you know, it was a great game, great atmosphere. It was good to, you know, be in that type of game that night and, you know, those type of things. Losing the time. It was, but, hey, we, I ain't got to worry about that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Appreciate it.